Hey there and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to show you how to learn a language using Trancy. If you're familiar with Language Reactor, you'll find Trancy to be quite similar but with its own unique features. Trancy lets you view two sets of subtitles simultaneously and interact with them to help you learn a language. It works with YouTube, Netflix, Udemy, Coursera, Disney+, TED, Khan, and edX. First, let's talk about where you can use Trancy. For PC or Mac users, Trancy offers extensions for Chrome, Safari, Edge, Firefox, Brave, and Arc. On mobile devices, it works with Safari, Firefox, and Lemur. There's also an iOS app for iPad, though the reviews are mixed, so I suggest starting with the browser extension first. Today I'll be demonstrating on a Mac using the Chrome browser, but if you're using a PC, the experience should be very similar. We've added timestamps in the description below so you can easily skip to the parts of the video you're most interested in. Now, let's get started. First, we need to head on over to Trancy.org. Sign up is free and no credit card is required. If you'd be so kind as to use the link in my description though, I would so much appreciate the credit for sending you their way. Once there, we're going to click on sign up free. And you can sign up using your email address, Google or Apple credentials. I prefer to use Google, so I'll click on that. And for some reason, this page doesn't redirect you, so we'll have to return to Trancy's homepage on our own. Now, let's install the Chrome extension. We'll click on Download from Trancy's homepage. And then I'm going to select Download for Chrome. But of course, you'll want to select the extension for the device and browser you'll be using. Then I'm going to click Add to Chrome. And then on Add Extension. And now the extension is added. In this video, I'll be using the free version of Transy. But before we move on, I want to mention that Transy offers both free and premium tiers. The free tier is robust and may be enough for most users. It includes bilingual subtitles, unlimited translations, exporting subtitles, and intelligent sentence splitting. What does that mean? Intelligent Sentence Splitting uses AI to organize subtitles into more accurate sentences. The premium version is quite reasonable at only $2.69 a month at the time of this recording. A full year is $25.99. It includes additional features like unlimited word and sentence collections, flashcards, AI for oral practice, and more. But as you'll see later in the video, the free tier does allow you to try out various practice features before you buy. Now, let's visit YouTube and see the free version of Trancy in action. I've already found a Chinese language video for this demonstration, but Trancy also supports French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish, and of course, English. Let's click on the Transy icon in the bottom right of the video. It's purple. And this will open up language settings. First, we want to choose the language we speak. I speak English. And then what we're learning. I'm learning Chinese. And then I'll click on Save Settings. We've already created account, so click on Sign In down at the bottom. And then I signed up with Google, so I'll go ahead and sign in. Now you can just click on Got It to dismiss the purple box. We'll talk about what it says a little later. We'll go over the settings box in detail later. For now, the only setting I want to point out is Translation Engine. Google is the default, but if you prefer Microsoft Translation, you can click on it and select Microsoft. I prefer Google, so I'll leave it as is. I'll click on Back, and then I'll exit out of the Settings menu. Let's click on the Trancy icon on the video once again. This pop-up box will appear when you're new. We can just exit out of it because I'll explain everything it says to you later in the video. We'll also click on the Tips box to dismiss it. 
As you can see, we've entered a theater-like screen with bilingual subtitles and various icons across the bottom. Let's take a look at the icon that appears to the right of the video's title. It looks like a bookmark. Let's click on it. Now our video has been saved to our Transy dashboard. We'll see where that is in just a moment. But first, let's hover over a word in the subtitles. See the little heart that appears underneath the translation? If we click on it, it'll save the word to our collection and the Transy dashboard. Let's see where that dashboard is. Click on the icon to the far right at the bottom. It's called More. Then click on Collection. And as you can see, the vocabulary words that I've saved are stored here. In the paid version, you can also store sentences. To visit the dashboard, click on Dashboard in the upper right. Now let's briefly explore the dashboard. In the top middle in red, we see vocabulary and in green, sentences. Here you can see all the words and sentences that you have saved. I'll click on vocabulary and here's a list of all the words that I've saved. I'll click on back to return to the home page. The paid version of Trancy can use your saved words and sentences to create flashcards. Flashcard functionality is limited at best in the free version, but let's go ahead and click on it to see how it works. Nah. As you can see, it shows you a word and then in a few moments it shows you the definition. Then at the bottom, you can let the program know if the word was unknown to you, unclear or known, and the program will track your progress. Let's return to the home page by clicking on the back arrow in the upper left. Now in the left pane, let's click on video. And here you can see all the videos that you've saved. I'm not sure how many videos you can save in the free version, but if you know, let us know in the comments below. The other three features you see in the left pane are related to AI and those are paid options, so we won't talk about them. The last thing we'll look at in the dashboard is our account settings. Let's click on the three dots next to our username in the bottom left, and then we'll click on settings. Here you can reset your password, change the language that the Trancy extension uses, change your native and learning languages, and the color of your theme. Some themes are only available in the paid version. Now let's return to the video main page and take a look at more features. The dashboard opened in another tab, so we simply need to click on the video tab to return. If you look directly below the video, you'll find familiar video controls. The two I want to highlight in this video, though, are the repeat button and speed settings. To replay a segment again and again, click on the repeat button until you see a tiny number one in the middle of it. This is quite useful. Allow me to demonstrate. The other useful control is the speed settings. If I click on it, here you can adjust the video speed to your preference. Now let's take a look at the bottom right corner as we discuss more of Trancy's features. The first icon you see is AI Summary. We'll skip that one since it's only available on the premium tier. The next icon is Subtitles. Here you can choose Bilingual to show both sets of subtitles. As you can see, that one is checked now. If we click on Primary, it'll show only the subtitles in the language that you're learning. If we click on it again and click Translation, it'll show only the subtitles in your native language. The last option is Hide, which completely hides all of the subtitles. This is quite useful. I'll go back to Bilingual, and both subtitles are showing again. Next up is the Mode icon. I really like this feature. Let's click on it. As you can see, theater mode is highlighted in yellow. This is the default view that we're currently in. Let's click on reading mode. Reading mode, as you can see, is quite useful. It displays a block of subtitles showing the current, previous, and upcoming subtitles. 
lastly under mode we have blend mode and as you can see we have the familiar theater mode on the left and we have the reading mode on the right let's return to the theater mode now the next icon that looks like headphones is the practice area it has limited functionality in the free plan but it's still useful let's click on it go ahead and exit out of this pop-up box the first area of practice is speaking. Here, you record yourself saying the words on the screen and then listen to see if it's accurate. I couldn't get this feature to work in the free plan, but let us know in the comments below if you were able to. Let's click in the bottom left and select listening. Since this is listening practice, the words being spoken are blurred out. You can reveal them though by clicking on the eye icon in the bottom right. The next icon is the show hide translation selector. If we click on it, the translation is hidden. Clicking on it again will reveal the translation. The next icon that looks like a square with a box in it is the show hide video selector. If we click on it, the video will disappear and clicking on it again will reveal the video. The final icon is full screen, which should be self-explanatory to computer users. In the bottom left menu, let's go ahead and click on selection now. Here, you're presented with fill in the blank questions. The free version though seems to be limited because you're only presented with one choice. I saw a video of the paid version and I'm pretty sure you were presented with multiple choices here. If we go ahead and take a look at the icons in the bottom right, we see an icon that we haven't seen before. It looks like a musical note. It simply turns the keyboard sounds on and off. Let's take a look at the next area of practice in Transy. In the bottom left, let's click on Filling. Here, you're presented with fill-in-the-blank questions wherein you type the answer. As you can see, the answer is grayed out, but if you don't want to cheat, you can turn this off by clicking on the light bulb in the bottom right. I'll do that now. And the answer is hidden. If I click on the light bulb again, I'm back to cheating. The final area of practice is dictation. Let's go there now by clicking in the bottom left and selecting dictation. Dictation is a lot like filling in that you type in the answer, albeit this time for an entire sentence rather than one word. Once again, you could turn cheat mode on and off by clicking on the light bulb. As I said earlier, the practice area is limited in the free plan, but it does offer you an excellent opportunity to check things out and see if it's worth it to you to get a paid plan. Let's exit out of the practice area now by clicking on the X in the upper right. The final area of Trancy that we'll check out is the settings menu. To get there, click on the more icon. It's the last icon in the bottom right. Here, the first four options allow you to enable and disable, hover to translate, click to pronounce, combine sentences, and hide control bar. The only one of those that I think is not self-explanatory is combine sentences. When this option is enabled, it's going to combine subtitles into longer sentences. This option only works in reading mode and it doesn't work with machine translations the next item, collection, we took a look at earlier in the video. That is where your saved words and sentences can be found and also where you can access the dashboard area. The next three items allow you to change the way things look. First up is Word Highlight. It allows you to show or hide highlighted text and customize its appearance. Themes allows you to change Trancy's overall appearance. However, some themes are only available in the paid version. I'll click back. Next up is subtitle options. I'll click on it. Here you can customize the size, weight, opacity, and font of the subtitles. I'll click back. Next up is subtitle language. 
Let's click on it. Here you can change the languages in which you want subtitles to appear. I'll click on back. Next up is the wonderful feature export subtitles. Here you can export subtitles in PDF, CSV, or SRT. Let's click on it. If you're wondering what SRT files are, they're also called subrip files. They're plain text files that contain the text of a video's subtitles along with time codes. They're commonly used in the video industry to add text overlays to videos. If you take a look at the options here, you have a few choices to make before downloading. You can decide whether or not you want to include saved words, highlighted words, only subtitles you saved, complete subtitles, and or timestamps. Once you make your decisions, you simply need to click on download. Let's do that now. And here is a lovely page we can print. I just absolutely love this feature and I adore that it's free. If we go back to the video now, and next up, we have a lovely link to all the keyboard shortcuts available to you in Trancy. It's a good idea to make yourself familiar with this as it may make your life a little simpler when using the program. I'll back out of that now. And finally, we have a link to the iOS app for iPads. That's self-explanatory, so I won't click on it. Well, folks, that wraps up this video. I hope this tutorial helps you get started with Transy. And if you have a language learning app or tool that you'd like to see a tutorial for, drop me a note in the comments below. And don't forget to follow for more. See you next time.